from the Oklahomans Video Studio, I'm Helen Ford Wallace with Parties Extra, which is brought to you by our sponsor, Party Galaxy. Welcome, Joy Reed Bell. Well, thank you. I, it's the first time I've been to your new studio, and I love it. We're just glad you're downtown yes. here with us. And you have new exhibits out at your JRB Art at the Elm, so yes. tell us about uh, that. At the gallery this month, because so much is going on, and so in June, uh, we have a Western theme, yes. and this year our show is called The Best of the West, and we have three internationally reputed artists. We have Billy Shank from Santa Fe, and one of his paintings is on behind us. Oh, yeah. And uh, then we have Joe Ando, who was originally from Tulsa, and has been in New York for many years. And then we have somebody local that everybody loves, Bert Seaburn. Uh, and then we have Gourds by Judy Kelly. And she's doing a good job. She her. is doing a wonderful job, and she's done some new techniques uh, this time. You know, usually you, you work with a gourd, you burnish it, you do all these things to it, and then she decorates it with pine needles. But we have gourds now decorated not only with pine needles, but with seashells, mm -hmm. horns, and some stones, antlers, and some stones. Uh -huh. It's really, really good mm -hmm. work. And uh, then we have bronzes by Shirley Thomas Smith. We just picked up six new ones today. Inside or outside? Inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, also a wildlife uh, pre de West sculpture, Sandy Scott. So, you, so we, we, we are ready for everybody. And you've got your turquoise on, so I you're do, looking very fine. I do. I, best I, of the West. Yes, best of the West. Uh -huh. And then you have your brunch coming We up. have our brunch on Sunday the 14th. And... Uh, it's free. It's it's free to the public, and uh, our artists will be there, mm -hmm. so they can meet them and talk about them. And then, typically, a lot of the pre to West artists come. They're usually on their way back home mm -hmm. that Sunday, but they come by and eat before they leave. And and they've told me that you know the competition's over. Everything's been settled the night before, and so this is the one time of year they can enjoy each other stress-free. Oh, that's wonderful. And they it's look usually forward a huge to that. Crowd. You usually it's usually a huge crowd, mm -hmm. and, and when they're at the hall the night before for that wonderful event, I mean, it's very tense mm -hmm. because you see all those people walking by your painting, talking about it, and you wonder, are you going to get a prize, or are you going to sell it, mm -hmm. or both. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a nervous time for them. Well, you always have such great stories about your artists. I mean, you just genuinely like them. I, I do. Uh -huh. I enjoy uh -huh. them. Well, it, so the ones of um, the Santa Fe artist, he's told me he is a working cowboy, he an is. international herder. 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 And, and a cattle herder, I, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Sheep? I met Billy Sheep. Shank, Billy uh -huh. Shank. And I met him years ago, and he painted with Warhol. Mm -hmm. He went to California to New York as a very young man, and was in one of the people groupies or whatever you call them that worked in the factory with Warhol, uh, helping to produce the art. And of course, that was pop art. Mm -hmm. And so then, after uh, Warhol died, Billy gradually started moving west. And so then he developed. He's credited with developing the genre of pop western. And it's very much, if you look at our back here, he, he first started doing this using movie stills as, as his inspiration. And so you see the sharp contrast, the simplified figures, mm -hmm. and everything just like you see in a Warhol. Mm -hmm. Only he's using a Western thing. He uses a lot of humor. He uses some text in his paintings. but. He, he ended up several years ago in Santa Fe, and he has a huge ranch, and his studio is there. And he has built an arena. And so they have rodeo competitions there. And, and he and Rebecca each have won several world championships. One of them is for herding. And I, I'm not quite sure what they heard, <laughs> and, uh, but I was going to ask him when he's mm -hmm. here. Uh, Sunday to explain that to me, but I have been to the ranch and it's for real. The thing that, that makes him different from a lot of Western artists is most contemporary Western artists portray the West like it was. Yes. You yes. know, they have the campfires, yes. mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. traditional, and, and so it, it, 
you know, you see the memory of what it was like. Billy takes that, that cowboy culture and moves it to the 21st century. Mm, and what so a it's just job. a totally just different a different approach. Uh -huh. But it but it's it's very very interesting. How big are his paintings? Well, we've got I think we've got a uh, 48 by 60 mm -hmm. maybe is the biggest one we have of his. Now, if we're going to go into size, we have a 152 inch I think Joe Ando horse. Is that the horse? Yeah, the big horse. Uh -huh. And Joe, uh, he, as I said, was originally from Tulsa. And most artists paint by applying layers of paint. Joe Ando paints by what they call reduction. So he never uses a paintbrush. The only time he does is he uses the handle to draw an outline. But he would take a canvas and then he will gesso it white and whatever he wants his color to be, he might put, I don't know, 10 layers of white over that. Then he covers that with black, in the case of this big horse, to three layers of black. Then he wipes away the black paint while it's oh, wow. wet. And his image is surfaced from that. And so, so they have um, a lot of mystery to them. They're mm -hmm. shadowy. Mm -hmm. And, and it's just a kind of a technique that he developed, and, and it's it's gorgeous. He does, he does minimal landscapes and and horses, and he did a beautiful series several years ago of, of dogs. But I think all the museums snapped those up, and and I haven't I haven't had a dog. I have w one one little poodle in the gallery. Well, you have more. Art coming in. You have well, August do, coming up. We have August coming up, mm -hmm. and August will feature um, an artist uh, from Oklahoma City, and um, then uh, also a photographer uh, from New York will mm -hmm. be in August. And then we have September coming up, and October and November. We change out the gallery uh, to coincide with the First Friday Gallery Walk every, you know, every month. Do you have summer hours um, at the gallery? No, you know, we started uh, in January, closing on Monday mm -hmm. for the f for t first time in 10 years, mm -hmm. which has just been fabulous. Mm -hmm. But uh, so we're still open from Tuesday to Saturday from 10 to 6. Yes. And Sundays 1 to 5. Okay, and what's the address? 2810 North Walker, mm -hmm. and our website is www.jrbartgallery.com. Okay, Facebook, Twitter? Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. Got them all. And, and as, as quickly as, as we can learn them. <laughs> I'll learn them all, but the, the Facebook is, is a pretty robust. We're doing we're doing all those things certainly. Well, have a lovely, lovely, lovely summer, Joy. Your art shows continue to inspire us, and we always want to learn something when we come to your gallery. And you keep us informed. Well, thank you. Thank you.